Check one, two. Go, go. Curious about real estate? Yes. Then you've come to the right place. Get the knowledge you need. Get over the fear and get started. Hello. Hi, may I speak with Ariel, please? This is her. Hi, Ariel. This is Ryan. And you spoke with Hi. Alex. And you, hi. You spoke with Alex on the phone about your interest in selling your house. Yeah. Great. I am calling back to verify that all the information we have is correct so that we can come to an agreement to purchase your property. Is this a good time? Sure. Great. And is this the best number to contact you on in case we get disconnected? Yes. All right. And Ariel, do you happen to have an alternative number where we may reach you at? Uh, Yeah, 1800. That's my husband's cell phone, but during the day he usually can't answer because he's at work. So. Because he's at work. No problem. So I got 1800. Yeah. All right, and I'll go ahead and make that note in here that that's your husband's number, and he is usually at work, so he won't be able to answer in the day. And I do have your email address, which is fantastic. And, Ariel, you did call us because you have a house you are hoping to sell, yes? Uh Uh-huh. Fantastic. We are definitely looking for another house to buy right now. And your house actually sounds like the kind we're looking for, too. Um, This property is not currently listed with a real estate broker, correct? No, it's not. It's not listed. That's great. And we are speaking about 428. Uh, Yeah. And um, Ariel, when asked about the repairs and and upgrades we'll need to pay, you said about 5,000? Well, you know, I think it would probably be a lot less than that. I was telling Alex um, it was hard for me to estimate because I don't know, like, how much paint and landscaping costs, but there's nothing major that's wrong with the house. We've had tenants in it for a few years, and they haven't reported anything to us. just, I know just from looks though, it needs a paint of co- or a coat of paint on the outside. It needs some gardening. Um, and I mean, they painted the inside last summer, and so okay. I can't imagine it being that much at all. But I don't know how much paint and landscaping costs. So paint and landscaping. Well, you're you're right around there. Um, and Ariel, I, I understand you said that there's there is tenants still in the home. Yes, but they'll be moving out um, in about a week and a half. They're already mm-hmm. packed up and everything. Oh, okay, great. So the this property will be vacant in about a week and a half? Yeah, and we don't want it to sit vacant, so. <laughs> of course not. And um, how much were your tenants paying per month? Uh, they were paying 550 but they're, uh, they were a friend of the family, so we were giving them a good deal. A good deal. Okay, I understand. And Ariel, what do you believe is the max you could rent this property for? Um, For the... For the area, I I would have to look into that. I have never lived in Taft. My husband has. I'm not too familiar with the area, but it's a two bedroom, so I would imagine like six fifty, seven hundred. Six fifty to seven hundred. That's great. Um, and that's no problem as far as the repairs and upgrades go. We do buy the houses in any condition, from the ugliest to the most beautiful houses on the block. And we don't ask our sellers to do any work or repairs at all. So after we buy the house, we will be the ones paying for the repairs or updates if necessary, okay? Okay. And, Daryl, what's causing you to want to sell this property? We want to uh, put it down on a house in Bakersfield because we live in Bakersfield. Okay, so you guys um currently living in Bakersfield and looking to buy another property? Yeah. And using this property as a down payment, correct? Yeah, we're in an apartment right now in Bakersfield because we didn't want to live in Taft, and we were renting that house out. And oh. um, we were saving up, we were building our credit and saving up money for a down, but we didn't know they were going to be moving out you know, anytime soon, and they kind of sprung it on us, so it's speeding mm-hmm. up the process a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. And that's that's fine. We can certainly help you with that. Um, what have you done so far to try and sell your house? Um, I've I really don't know the first thing about this. I mean, this is a first time experience for me, so I've just been kind of <laughs> calling around to different realtors, getting information about you know how to sell it, what to do. Um, I've talked to a few people, but we're trying to because we are trying to get a house in Bakersfield. Um, we're trying to get you know the most money for it as possible and. Uh, some of the like realtors I talked to so far, they were, it was just like they wanted so much of a commission 
Yeah. And then, you know, to list it and then waiting and you don't know how long it's going to take. So I figured I'd look into, I always see signs everywhere, you know, for all the I buy houses stuff. I figured I'd see how, uh, what you guys had to offer because it's cash and it's a lot easier than the realtor, but. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, of course. And we always appreciate when people do a little bit more research for themselves. It's going to help us all out, and, and you're going to understand, you know, what, what the process is. And I do understand this is your first time, and I promise it's a real simple, easy transaction. And um, I also do want to ask, do you have to sell this house? You do have to sell this house in order to put the down payment on the other one. That's what you said, right? Yeah, at this point, um Yeah. Okay, and that's just going to make us the perfect buyer for you because we're actually not looking for a house to live in. Um, We can buy your house and close on the date of your choice. And with that being said, when would you say is the soonest you'd be able to sell this property and close escrow by? Well, I guess it would be when the tenants move out, right? When the tenants move out. So about a week you'd be ready? Yeah, um... I'd have to call them. They were supposed to give us exactly one week notice from the day that they were going to be leaving. They said mm-hmm. it was going to be around the middle of June. Oh. So I should be getting a phone call any day for, any. you know, yeah. Right. And closing within the next 20 to 30 days, would that be possible for you? Yeah. Okay, most definitely. That sounds good. And Ariel, what's going to happen if it doesn't sell? Meaning what are you going to do with the house and how is that going to affect your plans to sell it? Um, keep trying to sell it until it sells. I don't want to rent it out anymore. Right. I definitely understand. So keep trying to sell. <clears throat> and um, you had mentioned that you believe the house to be worth about 55000 in today's market. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. I, um, That's what I like. If you go online and look on like Zillow, that's what it says it's worth. Oh, okay. It's been, yeah. So Zillow. So we got a couple of research. All right, that sounds good. And um, did you know if that was an as-is price or putting it in perfect condition or what your opinion of that would be? Um, I think if it was in perfect condition, I could sell it for a lot more. Because there's in the neighborhood, there's a lot of houses that are um, on the market or have been recently sold. And um, I actually, a realtor that I was talking to, um, she had printed out me a copy of all the houses in the area and what they were going for and we were like comparing contrasting or whatever right and um the ones that were in perfect condition they were selling for like 65 to 70 so oh okay so this one would be sold as as is condition yeah all right that's good so the other houses are selling around 65 to 70 that's awesome and ariel you said that you were um you're kind of surprised as far as how much it would cost in, in going through a realtor. Did they say how much it would cost you? Um, it was going to be like 11%. Wow. Yeah. yeah. We've been seeing typically anywhere from 10 to 20%, so that fits right in there. And that's going to be covering the real estate broker, the monthly mortgage payments, you know, if there's a mortgage on the property, several months of holding costs. And that's not even including all the buyer's lender requirements, like the repair costs and pest inspections yeah. and roof certifications. Wow. So they told you 11%. Yeah. yeah. You'd be, be looking at about, you know, 5500 right? Yeah, it would be. Uh, the, the issue was if we were going to lose that much money on it and then have mm-hmm. to wait all that time. Yeah. Um, we say we figured well we'll you know call some of you guys and see yeah. see if it, what we can work with you if we're gonna have to lose all that money anyways I don't know <laughs> right I definitely understand and to be honest with you um, most home sellers are not aware of how much it costs to sell a house so we definitely once again appreciate that you've actually done the research on the property um, and Ariel is there a mortgage on this property no it's paid off no mortgage free and clear that's great that is so awesome. Ariel, I do want to tell you a little bit about what we do and what we can do for you and the kind of benefits we provide. Um, We actually buy houses like yours all the time, and we pay for all of the costs, the things like the real estate commission, the title insurance and escrow fees, as well as the transfer tax, termite clearance, and roof certifications. And that list goes on and on. So anything that you'd be paying going through a realtor, we take care of all those costs for you. And we do buy the properties in an as-is condition. So we're going to assume the responsibility for all of the needed repairs or upgrades if necessary, whether we've seen them already or not. 
And one of the positive factors about selling us your house, I know you said the tenants are leaving in about a week, um, but they can actually stay there for as long as they need to, and we can still get you the money on the date of your choice. So that's pretty oh. cool. And yeah. um, we we will pay cash when we buy your house, so you can have the peace of mind knowing it's sold. And not okay. only sold, but sold to someone who can afford to buy it. Because we don't have to rely on a bank to qualify your house, nor do we need to beg them for a loan and risk them changing their minds at the last minute. And believe me, there's yeah. nothing yeah, nothing more frustrating than seeing a deal break down in escrow. And this isn't yeah, going I to bet. happen to you. Um, Ariel, and isn't that really what you want? Yes. Of course. And... Um, it looks here like you were looking to walk away with 35000 net, and that would be the amount to receive to put in your pocket. Is that correct? Yeah, my husband and I discussed it, and we just, um, for what we need to do, that is the absolute lowest that we will go. Absolute lowest you'll go. Okay. And you can't see yourself doing better than that? I'm sorry? You can't see yourself doing better than thirty-five. You mean more? Uh, <laughs> I know that question is kind of confusing, but less fun for us, I should say. Oh, um, no, I don't want to lose too much of the value of it, honestly. Right. So 35, is that the lowest you will go? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see here. 35,000, is that the least you'll take? Yes. Okay. Um... Would you consider 30? Uh, my husband said 35 firm. I would have to ask him, but I know that he didn't want to go any lower than that. He didn't want to go any lower than 35. I understand. Yeah. Um, 30 just wouldn't work for you? I could call him and ask him and call you back, but he told me no lower than 35. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um well, we are definitely interested in purchasing the property, and um, we do always want to get, you know, whoever is involved, their opinion. If you would okay. like to call your husband and ask him, you know, if, if he's willing to purchase or sell the property for 30, we are willing to move forward and purchase the property. Okay. Okay. I'll, uh, he's, he could be on his lunch break right now, so if you want, I'll just call him and see if uh, I could get through to him. Okay, yeah, no problem, and um, I'm actually going to head out for lunch here in a minute also, so if you want okay. to give me a call back and let me know the verdict, I will most definitely get back to you, okay? Okay, so do I just call back the original number to get a hold of you, or? Um, let me go ahead and give you my direct line. Okay, let me grab a pen, and hold on. Hmm? What's the number? All right, it's going to be 7923. And I'm sorry, what was your name again? Ryan. It's R-Y-A-N. Okay. Okay, and just let him know that, um, you know, we're going to be paying for all the costs. He won't need to pay for any closing, any repairs or upgrades. We're going to be taking care of all of those. Um, and a standard escrow is about 60 days, but we're usually able to close them with, within 30. Okay. Okay, so I'll be okay, looking I'll forward to hearing from you. Okay, Ariel? All right, thank you for your time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello, thank you for calling. This is Ryan. How can I help you? Hi, Ryan. It's Ariel. Hey, that was fast. Hi. It was. He answered on the first ring. I was so shocked. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> um, but he says that would be perfectly fine. All right. That sounds awesome, Ariel. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get that price approved. And, okay. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and send you the purchase agreement. And I can send that to your email at gmail.com? Yes. All right, that sounds awesome. So I'll go ahead and send that over to you, and feel free to just print it out, read over it, sign it, and send it on back, either email or fax, and I'll leave all that information in the email I send it over in. And um, once we get it back, we can actually um, open escrow right away. Um, do you think you'll okay. be able to get that back to me today? Um, yeah, you just uh... – I have to print it out and then like scan it in the computer and fact, or I mean, and then email it back to you, or how do I send yeah, it to you? Yeah, you could ju you could definitely do that. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I don't have a scanner or anything. Is there like another way I can get it back to you? Um, let me think. Um, does your husband have a scanner at work, possibly, or a fax machine at work? We could send it to. 
Oh, I can get to a fax machine if that would work. Oh, yeah, we can definitely do that. So what I can do is um, you said you didn't have a scanner or a printer. No, I have a printer. I just don't have a scanner. <laughs> you have a printer. No problem. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and send it over to you via email. Feel free to just print it out, and you can fax it back over to me um, if you can get to a fax machine, okay? Okay, and that's going to have um, all of the information about what's going to happen from here on out and all the fine print and all that good stuff I can read yeah. through? That's right. Okay. And we definitely do advise that you um, take a look over it. And um, if you have any questions or concerns about it, feel free to get in contact with me. That's no problem. So I'll go okay. ahead and write that up for you. I'll send it over. And um, like I said, I'll leave all that information for you to send it back to me, okay? Okay. So the the um, transaction is done when escrow closes? That's right. So um, okay. how that will go is we'll be sending out our purchase agreement to you. Once we receive it back signed, we're going to go ahead and start taking the necessary steps as far as verifying the value of the home. Um, and then the escrow officer, hopefully here soon, will be getting in contact with you. Um, we'll also be sending out an appraiser. And um, let me think. As far as the funds go, we would be wiring them to the closing attorneys. Okay. Okay, Ariel. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, and congratulations on selling your house. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for listening. Get more info and stay in touch.